Hello, welcome to Living Well Today and the word of the week. I'm Angela and thank you so much for taking a moment out of your day to listen to this. I hope that each week I record a word of the week as a way to emphasize the importance of the story that you tell and how it shapes your day-to-day experience of life and your own well-being for living well today and the power of words, that words matter. The story you tell yourself and others matters. It shapes your perception of everything and, um, and helps encourage you to consider different points of view and shaping your story in a way that's more resourceful and empowering versus disempowering and non-resourceful, uh, which would you prefer? So word of the week, this word of the week this week is uh, about a measure of being open, open to yourself, open to others. The word is accessible, accessible. So in a time where access seems so limited, right, to try and get someone live on the phone, <laughs> it seems next to impossible these days, to get someone to return an email, to read your email, to watch your video, whatever it may be, but access, accessibility. So I want you to think about this. Are you accessible in all ways that matter? Is your heart accessible? Do you have walls up? Do you shut people down? Do you, you know, accessible means open to, receiving, connecting, um, being able to reach, to connect with. Are you that person? Are you accessible? Or are you consciously or unconsciously shutting down? And ever, if there was ever a time to consider being more open, more accessible, more willingness to connect and to receive, it's the holiday season. So as you walk through your the remainder of this week and weekend, I want you to think about, am I open? Am I accessible? Do people have accessibility when it comes to me? Am I only showing them one mask, this mask? Am I only showing them one side of me? Or are they getting all of me? Are, are, they, are they getting access to my real being, my real person, the things that really matter to me? Or am I putting on a front? Because that accessibility also has to do with the relationship that you have with yourself, which is the most important relationship of all, of course. But if you're having difficulty, if people are, are, are having difficulty getting access to you, why is that? Now there's certain level of access and accessibility that's important. We need to have our boundaries, etc. cetera, yes. Um, but if it's a way of life for us, it's probably not the healthiest. So consider opening up, making your, yourself more accessible, more reachable, more able to connect with others and watch how life blooms, watch how your day blooms for you. All right, all the best for living well today.